What's up Zoopsters and welcome back to a brand new episode on the channel and today we are here in Zuba with something pretty special that we haven't quite done before here. We're gonna be taking every single individual character here in the game and we're gonna be ranking them from worst to best and let's just begin right now because there are so many of them right here and I have this list here of which ones are the worst and the best and stuff. It's not a tier list sort of thing. We're gonna be taking each of them. So we start off with our 45th spot because there's 45 characters in total and that is going to go to tony over here now this isn't my personally hated like most hated character okay i don't really mind seeing tony in games because he just isn't that strong his passive is decently i mean it's most passives are pretty good but he's not that good in terms of his passive okay he is undeniably like the worst in the game with the little bird and stuff because it's just really really slow and that's why he's not that good and he doesn't even have crazy range to work with and stuff which makes things even worse so that's why he's the worst in the game there are so many better options 44 of them now we also have shelly on the 44th spot over here and i personally just don't like shelly i like that she's a ranger all right she's a ranged character a sniper pretty okay i guess but uh her active super annoying in game and it's just not that good of a character because you will just delay getting killed in game you know what i'm saying so it's not that cool it's not fun for the one actually defeating you and it's not fun for you either so just don't play shelly not that great of a character up next we have quinn because quinn where is quinn oh there you go she's level 11 so you can already tell that she's not a good character here she doesn't have any crazy range and her active is okay but still not that good again most actives in the game are decent to say the least so you know I can't uh, say that it's that bad, but still, she doesn't have much range to work with, so not that good of a character. And there's a lot of characters out here in the worst spots that do not have much range to work with. We also have Faye at the 42 spot over here. Where is Faye, actually? With the skin. Yeah, the slime skin. There it is. It's, uh, it's a cool skin, don't get me wrong, but it's not about skins today. It's about abilities. She doesn't do much damage, and the active is... Uh, 80% useless, if I do say so myself. Because, you know, if you're going in the direction trying to chase Faye and you're the enemy and she blinds you, just go in the same direction and you'll probably catch her. Because in the heat of the moment, Faye probably won't come up with any insane trick to do to kind of throw you off. So that's why she's not that crazy, even with the four weapons, which is unique though. It is pretty special. Now, we also have Ursula on our 41, on uh, 41st spot here, because Ursula isn't actually that good, to be perfectly honest. I mean, she does have just a bit of range to work with. She's not the worst in the game, of course, but her active ability, I find that it's really, really hard to hit all three snowballs. So for that singular reason right there, and the ability, the, the thing that, that thing that really really makes me angry about this character you can't really stun that easily because you have to hit all three snowballs and they're so difficult to hit all of them at once and with faster characters and stuff it is nearly impossible to do so so that's why we also have edna at number 40 over here because we all know edna where is edna where did she go there you go cool skin though i like this one it's it's a good one here but the traps here just relying on the enemy stumbling upon them and i know they are kind of powerful though because they slow down and also do a significant amount of damage is that you're relying on your opponent's ignorance i guess to just step on the traps and that's about it i like the weapons kind of i guess the the arrow rain and the bomb throw and the spear with the single shot you know she kind of plays around with these tactics here of throwing weapons in the air and then they drop down which is pretty cool indeed it's not the worst thing ever on the 39th spot we also have paulo where is paulo there you go Go, Polo. <laughs> Polo just ain't it. He's super annoying as well. And uh, he's supposed to be like the faster character in the game because that's his whole model and everything. But he's not that fast. Come on. There are faster characters out there. Of course, you can take any character and make them decently fast. But still, Polo. They just could have done more with the speed. I don't know. He's not that great. Now, we also have Elaine here at number 38 because Elaine looks like a very strong character, okay? Kind of a successor to Jade, but not really. She doesn't do much damage, and the weapons aren't that crazy. Shotgun Burst is fine. Spear Thrust is fine, but the bow with the arrow, right, has a very small radius to work with, so that's what I don't like about it, though. But apart from that, kind of a sneaky character indeed, but just doesn't do all that much damage. She's kind of annoying to fight. That's why she isn't the worst, but still, could have been way better. Now, we also have Frank here at the 37th spot, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys weren't expecting this, but the thing about Frank is, the reason why we play him pretty well 
in videos and stuff, and we tend to get the wins, is that he's level 18, close to level 19 as well. If you want to see that upgrade, just comment down below, by the way, because that would be super, super cool. He has the cool skin, by the way. <laughs> That's awesome, but the thing is, he's super slow, and just, like, he's kind of like Bruce, you know, he's kind of similar to Bruce, and he's just not that good overall. I mean, we do have a high level, though, so that's why we play him pretty well, and he's cool overall, you know, he's not the worst. Bruce is also on the 36th spot here, close to Frank, and uh, where even is Bruce? I can't even find him, because we don't typically play him. There you go. Level 18 as well, because uh, this is one of the characters that you kind of start off with, I guess, and uh, you know how Bruce works, just, just not that good. You don't have much range to work with, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so, we also have Donna on the 35th spot, so we've been um, talking about like 10 characters so far, so this is where stuff gets playable, to say the least. You know, it's not the worst, it's playable. But there are far better options out there. And uh, that's the same thing with Donna. Are you gonna stand in one spot and wait for an enemy in the water? Just be totally honest with me. No, because it's boring. You don't want to do that. And it's, it's super, super just annoying to stand there for no reason all right i want to be playing the game not hiding around and being completely still that is the issue all right you're hiding completely still because if you move around that it's not good all right because then you'll the enemy will see the trail behind you all right and sometimes it could go unnoticed because it's kind of hard to see at times but still it is not okay i want to be playing the game not standing still all right that's the problem with donna up next we have iris on the 34th spot where is iris there you go cool skin i like this one <laughs> a lot of characters have cool skins though that's awesome iris slow character uh, uh, an okay range i guess the only truly ranged attack is the active of course the pounce and pitch which can uh really nicely poison the enemies that is a useful ability right there i like poison a lot it's really really good now we also have ollie on our 33rd spot over here because ollie may not be the best but he's kind of cool you know the passive is decent sometimes because you're not always gonna have bushes on the map though but you have quite a few to work with that's for sure and then uh, you have the roll back here which is a double-edged sword it's it's exactly that a double-edged sword Sword because it could be really good or really really bad depends on you as the player probably the most hard the hardest character to kind of master i suppose there aren't many hard characters to play but this one if there is one character that's hard to play it's definitely ollie now up next we have fuzzy because you know they're, they're kind of similar looking actually they both got the white fur and everything, but Fuzzy has feathers, so never mind. There you go. Fuzzy, kind of an old character, you know, not, no new overpowered abilities and such. He's gotten kind of old here, you know, kind of stiff. The weapons are hard to hit because they're sniper abilities, but I like that he can slow enemies down, and the slide is also something useful. But, you know, he can compensate for that using some jungle shoes or wake-up coffee and stuff like that to give you extra speed or the, the rockets as well, you know. You don't necessarily need an active to make you faster, okay? You don't need speed that much, all right? You don't... You don't need that, okay? You need kind of a, a little bit of a balance as well to work with, you know? He kind of puts all his points into his speed, which is fun, but just maybe not that powerful in game. So we're focusing on wins over here. Which characters are going to get you the trophies, you know what I'm saying? And now we also have Buddy here on uh, tier... T tier? Nah! <laughs> the 31st spot over here, Buddy? Buddy is... Uh, but he's quite a character here that is fine, alright, he has so many abilities to work with and everything, it's crazy. Is he the best? No, but is he fun to play? Sure, he is pretty fun to play, and you also have the binoculars for him, which is quite a lot of fun as well, we'd love to see that over there. The bomb throw, spear with the single shot, and bow with the rapid fire, which are some decent weapons though, so you can play Buddy, he's not that bad. At the number 30 spot, we have Ravi here, and we're kind of getting to the more middle ground, I guess, of characters, you know, he is decent, alright, I can probably they say that now he is decent his ability to cancel out the, the the ability for enemies to hit their shots is super super annoying and sometimes busted it's super super good when you're facing peppers and stuff are you only going to be facing sniper characters no so that is why he is uh, not the greatest here in the game and his own weapons are fine to say the least they're not game breaking or anything though but i like the spear that goes up into the sky and drops down now that is strong now up next we also have lizzie here at 30 uh, at um Almost at tier again. What is going on with me here? The number 29th place. And she is kind of strong. Again, just like Edna here. But she is better than Edna. You can place stuff all over the floor. And then if an enemy tramples on the eggs in this case, then they get damaged. All right? It's just, again, you are relying on the enemy's ignorance. And sometimes it just gets boring trying to hide around and stuff. It's not the best ever in terms of abilities. But it is useful in team game ones because 
your allies can get healed from those eggs, which is why she is definitely better than Edna. And the weapons are absurd. You got the spear thrust, you got your uh, your uh, fair share of range, and the bomb bowling is not my favorite, but why not do it? It's it's okay. Now we also we got uh, Milo here at the 28th spot. Where is Milo? There you go, Milo. It's kind of like Shelly, right? They're actually very, very, very similar, but he is better than Shelly because uh, his weapons are kind of the same, though. So it's not about the weapons here. It's the passive ability. You can go in water and just chill and not have to worry about uh, drowning and stuff. Actually, you, you don't even drown. You what am I even saying here, right? <laughs> it's about the weapons, right? You can still use your weapons in water, so that means you can just use your item slots for something else apart from the holy sandals and it's it's useful it's, it's a useful ability better than shelly 100 percent you should play milo is it more difficult to get yes but why not try him out now we also have pepper at uh the 27th place where is pepper pepper i can i cannot find pepper but you know what she's she's definitely better especially in them team game modes because you can see the whole entire map with this active like you can see everything with the active weapons same thing still ranged very, 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 very high ranged, and even more highly ranged when you use the active, because the, the range that you get from using the active at the same time as uh, using the weapons is absolutely insane. It is overpowered, and it is super, super fun to play here, because Pepper is balanced at the end of the day, right? So that's why she's not the best, nor the worst, definitely. Pepper is okay. At the 26th spot, we have Kaylee. Where is Kaylee at? Oh, she's got that really, really cool skin. Let me show you. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I, I love this one. It's it's all of the elements combined and it's super fun to look at here. It looks cool. So uh, you got a very, very unique setup here, right? She doesn't deal much damage with the weapons when she's staying on the ground, but when she gets up on the eucalyptus stick or whatever it's called, you deal uh, kind of the same amount of damage to be perfectly honest, but your weapons get a really, really good range bonus as well. And if you tie that with something like the pheromone, which stuns the enemy and keeps them in place, you can do some crazy damage and it can be really satisfying. But again, not everyone has the pheromone. If you don't have the pheromone, it's gonna be just... It's not gonna be as satisfying to use, that's for sure. Now, up next, we have Molly here. Where is Molly? Molly doesn't have the greatest skins in the game, unfortunately. <laughs> They're not the best, right? But she is quite a lot of fun to play right here. You know, you got the, they got the different speed boosts and stuff. And when I say speed boosts, I just mean the dashes and everything. But the thing about the dashes is she doesn't have more than that, really. Joey isn't that crazy, all right? So let's move on to someone who is a little bit more special here than Molly, who's got more nicer abilities, I guess. And you have Jack at the 24th spot, and he is way, way cooler here. He can use the act if you're dinner, the how, and everyone in that circle gets a speed boost, including yourself. So he's really, really good in team game modes here. And it's, it's super, super useful to play Jack over here. He is a lot of fun. And the weapons are solid as far as melee weapons go. You can't go wrong with this. Now, up next, we have Duke. Because he's kind of similar to Jack over here. You know, he, he's a, a low-ranged character. But still, super, super useful because he... um. He has his abilities to compensate for that. He got the big old roar, which is amazing in team game modes because it can stun the whole enemy team. It is insane. It is powerful and it is, you know, Duke worthy because, you know, he's kind of the king of the zoo if you think about it because he's the big old lion, the big old boss. And when he steps in and uses his roar and uh, no, no one's escaping that. It's a big old explosion if you combine it with some other special items or something. But you don't need to do that, all right? That's just a, that's, that's a thing for looks, I guess. You also have Yara. At uh, the number 22nd place here, where is Yara? Where did she go? I, I can't even see Yara. But Yara, again, a good, a good team character, you know, but not much more than that. Like, they could go all out with Yara and make something different here, but she doesn't need to be more than that, you know what I'm saying? Because not every character has... Is supposed to be a super overpowered assassin. Let's just be honest here. Now, uh, up next, we have Zack. And Zack is actually quite a lot of fun to play here. I haven't played him in a while, though, because there are better characters, indeed, that you should be playing. But Zack has this cool skin, by the way. And uh, he gets the armored skin passive, which basically adds shield to his overall HP. So, uh, in whatever situation you are, you're going to gain HP over time, which is so, so useful. It's free HP. And who doesn't like free HP? Just be honest with me. It's good. 
And you just can't go wrong with this stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Now, up next, we have Buck at the 20th spot. Now, this is where you have characters that you should be playing, all right? This is, this is these are the characters which are the advanced here. They're not the goats, but they're the advanced here, you know? These are characters that you wouldn't mind playing in games. They're good. And Buck is just a fan favorite, you know? He's got the dash, which can stun enemies, throw them in the air, you know? Very useful stuff. And the weapons are uh, decent to say at least. They're not the best, but if you get the speed boost and you can get up to enemies rather quickly it's okay to have melee weapons it's fine all right you have he has his very own dash which is a must now on the 19th spot is jade where's jade i can't even find jade jade is a good one all right jade jade is a solid character she's still viable it's just that with every new character that releases i feel like she just gets old and stuff and kind of loses her her, her good character effect i guess the brisk whiskers active is just a straight up speed boost and the claw away is decent it's just extra damage though you know it could have been way crazier than this there are better fast assassin type characters out there or in this case hit and run characters than jade but she's still a solid option and just a fan favorite in general because who doesn't who doesn't love jade and she's also this account's like favorite character or something along these lines i'm pretty sure we've played jade the most out of any other character which is not bad at all now, who else do we have around here? We also have Finn at the 18th spot because, again, just like Jade, he's gotten kind of old, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've said that he's, like, the best character in the game at some other points, like, months ago. But now, I feel like, uh, you know, I actually looked at all the characters here and actually really thought to myself, which are the best. And Finn isn't that good compared to the others, you know what I'm saying? Because if you take every single character, you know, in a line, then you can you can kind of tell which, one are the, which ones are the best here, you know? Finn is just not that crazy. I like the active. Amazingly good active, but not much more than that, really. The weapons are kind of mid, to be perfectly honest with you. We have Romeo at number 17. He's good. Romeo's good. You can't go wrong with Romeo, all right? He's annoying to fight, and he's he's decent. And what is the skin? He doesn't even have good skins, bro. What are these? <laughs> Prince Romeo? Okay, that one's funny, though. That, one's, that one makes sense. It, it's pretty cool. Too close for comfort. That is quite a good name for a primal instinct right there. Okay, let's go on to our next character here, and that is going to be Joy. Now, Joy has her uses, but they're not in solo mode. Where you want to play Joy is a team game mode, and that takes a lot, all right? That takes a lot from the character. The fact that she shouldn't play her in solos and just go for a different team game mode. I mean, it has its charm, the fact that you're going to be playing this character not so much, making her more exciting to play when you actually have the uh, possibility to play teams with your friends and stuff, but still, you know, in teams, she's good in solos, maybe not so much, but still a viable character either way, so you can play her in solos, you can do that, but it's just maybe not the best choice. On the 15th spot, we have Paco as well. Where is Paco? Paco's a cool one, and he's super annoying to fight. The blindness effect, right? It's, you, you get it more than uh, the active on Faye, for example, right? The active here, you can easily compare it to Faye, but he deals damage and it's auto-aimed, and the auto-aim is 100% accurate every single time. So it's a guaranteed hit on the enemy, a, a little bit of blindness as well, maybe not as well as Faye, but whatever, kind of close, you know? Still gonna throw you off a little bit, you know? Maybe give you a little bit of a jump scare. And the impeccable fur, it's, it's like a, a critical hit that deals more damage, which is very useful. I love characters with that because they're all good, coincidentally. Now we also have Paco, and uh, not Paco, we have Wanda at uh, the 14th spot here, and Wanda just never dies. Wanda cannot die in game. Wanda is never gonna go down because of the shield ability, and if you have her at a decently high level, like 17, for example, she just has infinite health. And it's super, super annoying to fight, but that makes her a good character. So why not put her at the 14th spot? Now, next up, we have Louis, who's also an annoying character, because in this game, an annoying character is usually a good character. Not every single time, right? Because we have our exceptions. But Louis is pretty good, because he is practically immune to single shot sniper abilities right you have the spear the sniper spear not the bomb though all right that's a that's a case of its own and neither does the shotgun account but still the the bow and the spear if you have them as a single shot thingy the rats will always take the damage and he's annoying to fight he's like it's like a rat shield you know he's crazy and we love to see it if we decide to play Louis. And you also have some cool skins, by the way. You know, you can't go wrong with this stuff here. You know, pretty cool skins. Now, up next, though, we have Earl, which is another good one. Where is Earl? There you go. Earl 
is a nice character all right he's fast and he can also grab enemies pull them towards him and deal a lot of damage whilst they're stunned as well which is it's a pretty deadly combo and i see a lot of level 20 earls if, if there's one character i've seen way too many times being a level 20 or level 19 it's probably earl right with the with the the, the skin that's orange where is it the sushi one there you go this one right here it's a good, it's a very good skin right here. Just switch to it because you can't go wrong with this stuff. Now, up next, we have Larry, which is at uh, the 10th spot here. So, we're in the top 10 best characters right now, right? So, this is where you want to brace yourselves because these are the best characters that you can be playing at the moment. In my opinion, of course, if you have any other opinion, just comment down below and that would be super, super cool. Larry is incredibly fast. Like, really, really fast. He put all of his energy into being speedy, and you just can't go wrong with this stuff, you know? His passive is annoying because he steals weapons, and the camouflage is not overpowered. Definitely not overpowered, but still useful nonetheless. It's it's, it's kind of useful. You can get away from uh, sticky situations in a solo game mode, for example. Maybe not as useful in teams, though, that's for sure. Now, uh, up next, we have Skippy here on the number 9 spot. And Skippy is pretty similar to Larry. However, he can't go invisible. He's very, very swift, very quick, very annoying to fight as well. But uh, the thing about him is you gotta be way more careful here because you don't have much health to work with. Even at level 19, you don't have much HP here to work with. And it could be quite bad if you take a lot of damage from especially a skilled player here so you have to be careful but if you're a good player here you can do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time and just absolutely decimate the enemy so that is a very very good thing about him now on the number eight spot we have steve uh, there you go it was good steve steve is a fun one his active is totally unique nothing like we've ever seen before here in zuma and the easy prey is mid to say the least it's not that great but the active just does so much and the bow with the rapid fire is amazing because rapid fire bow in this game you gotta you gotta get to, you gotta get this in your head all right it's super super good and it's it's unbeatable it's super insane so uh next we have betsy at the number seven spot now where did betsy go i'm pretty sure she's here right there you go betsy with some decent skins here i mean the best one theoretically is pride power betsy but i personally like the mad scientist very good skin here and it's just uh it's kind of in her theming and everything you can't go wrong now enough of skins all right enough of skins we have some of the most unique abilities ever because she makes logs appear that uh, act as shields now I know that those kind of exist in the game, you know, the, the wooden thing is that you put on the map that protect you, but you're not always going to have that at your disposal. And the thing about Betsy is they did a lot more than just make a character who could build walls. You know, you can have the walls basically take kind of take damage and then reflect it back at the enemy with a super annoying primal instant because that's what it does and you can also eat up the logs for extra health as well which is very cool and you can also take two logs and make them into one and make it into a stronger type of wall which is something i don't really see but it is possible though and you get more hp from doing that so it's it's a w character now on the sixth spot we have max and uh, max is just a nyx 2.0 and uh I'm not ashamed of saying that. That's the truth. And Nyx 2.0. And Max is a good character. <laughs> you know? A uh, very annoying, just like Nyx. And this is he's a good character. Is he better than Nyx? Not really. I mean, not not um maybe not, but still super good. Now up next we have Phil here, which is uh someone that we don't typically see in games like at all like, i don't i never see phil's for some reason so it's kind of weird ranking him and stuff but he is a good character don't get me wrong he's super super cool and he's somewhere around here there you go with a haunted phil doesn't really look like phil that's why there you go that's uh that's way more like it but we're gonna keep the skin because it's really really good i like his passive i like his active a lot he can continuously use his active and get from one place to another really quickly picking up weapons in the process so it is just very very useful to have at your disposal we love to see stuff like this now, what uh, other character is super, super good is also, you guessed it, or, or maybe not, Henry! Where's Henry? Where did Henry go, ladies and gentlemen? Henry doesn't have the best skins, though, that's for sure. But this one's kind of cool because it has some uh, a secret effect here that I didn't think that I, I don't know if you know too but it's it's pretty cool here so the passive with the echo location is great because you can see every enemy in your uh, kind of area of uh, sight and it's super super useful because if someone's hiding in a barrel or in a bush you can instantly see that and it's super cool but again if you have the binoculars it is it is completely useless it is rendered useless so it's not that great if you have that item but still 
just don't use the item on this guy in favor of some other items, all right? And uh, look at that. Vampire Flight does so many things. Speed, additional speed. It has its own duration, obviously. It has uh, healing effects, damaging effects. Really good stuff here. He is basically an assassin character at his best, you know, because that's what he does. Now, on the number three spot, we're getting into the top three of characters here, right? From the best, uh, from the worst to the best. And now, we're going to be looking at Ruby. And Ruby, I can't stress this enough. Ruby is just too good. I don't know why. Why is Ruby so good? I, I don't understand, but she is. And where did Ruby even go? There you go. That's a nice skin as well. <laughs> a very good skin. So keep your distance is amazing. Because if you have a character at a nice, uh, at, at the range, right, that's uh, available here that the passive lets you have, you know, if enemies are at that specific range, you deal some insane amounts of damage. And then the Horner rank is just extra damage as well, which you can't go wrong with. And what deals extra, extra damage is the fact that you have the spear with the focus throw. And if you have it at the specific range of the active, the damage that you can deal is mind boggling. It is insane. It is universe shattering. And you just, you don't want to face rubies especially if they have their aim on point because if they have their aim on point then it is so so hard dealing with them now up next we have on the number two spot we have nico again i haven't seen a lot about this character but i just know he's really really good right if you pair him with speed items which you gotta do by the way if you pair him with speed items he is super super solid and the damage output that he can deal it's kind of like ruby right insane damage output with his active now we don't have him at a high level so we can't really see that over here but still it is insane how much damage this guy can do and i'm looking forward to him getting out of all the axes as quick as possible so i can see more more people use him overall because he's gonna be such a menace in game to fight i can't wait to fight this guy right it's, i mean maybe i shouldn't be saying that because he's gonna be super strong in my opinion but still very cool now on the number one spot the moment we've all been waiting for is Susie and where is Susie there she is let's go Susie is just I I've told you so many good things about this character and I'm not gonna stop until someone better comes along and steals the limelight now here's the thing about Susie she has too many abilities to work with man it's, just, it's, it's too much ball arrow rain solid shotgun with the long barrel solid it's a sniper shotgun basically the spear is a focus throw which is the best spear in the game because you can do insane amount of, amounts of damage you just have to be a little bit competent you know just kind of aim your shots properly and then you're good now the passive is uh, what is this well as soon as he's near the hive it will sometimes shoot honey bombs that splash honey on the ground okay okay so what you do here is you have an active with the turret i'm pretty sure you know what this does right places a turret deals damage throws honey that can slow down enemies and uh, also heals itself and i'm pretty sure it also heals you with the primal instinct which is the icing and the cherry on the cake it is way too powerful and susie needs a nerf man we don't see you don't we, you don't see balance changes in this game but i feel like they need to add a balance change specifically for Susie here all right we haven't seen a balance change in in years that's not okay something has to happen here something has to change well fellas smash like if you enjoyed this that was a lot of fun right there talking about every single character in the game and if you want to see more of this stuff just comment down below and i'll see you in the next episode zoopsters bye bye